For problem number six, we do want to find the area that's enclosed uh, between the curves that they give us. So let's draw it and then decide whether we're integrating with respect to x or to y. So we will take our x and y axis over here. And let's put the points pi over 2. And this is pi, right? And I'm also going to indicate this too on the y-axis. So for our first curve, we do have, and I will draw it over here. We do have this one, which is, oops, um, which is x is equal to pi over 2. And for our second one, we do have this line, which is just x is equal to pi. Now let's draw the other lines. Um, we'll draw y is equal to x. So for that, it connects the point 0, 0 and pi over 2 and pi over 2. So it's just a straight line that goes like this, right? I, I will have to extend this orange line so that we can see where they intersect. So this one goes like so, and this is y y is equal to sine of x. Oh, not sine of x. What am I doing? y is equal to x. It was mentally anticipated. And now we just have to draw y is equal to sine of x. So let's draw it in a different color. Um, over here, we'll go from the point 0, 0 to pi over 2 at 1. So it's less than pi over 2 here and then back to zero, right? So our curve does something like this. And this is the curve y is equal to sine of x. Now we can see that the area um, enclosed between these four curves is this section over here. Um, so to decide whether we're going to integrate with respect to x or to y, we must think like, um, where will we have the easiest and most consistent um, rectangles drawn, right? And what do I mean by this? I mean, is there an orientation of rectangles where we'll just have a single function or a single curve as our upper boundary and then another single curve as our lower boundary? So we can contrast this with doing um, vertical rectangles and horizontal rectangles. So if I do horizontal rectangles, um, Let's do this using purple. If I do horizontal rectangles like this, you can see that, you know, through different points, we will have always the same upper boundary, which is the curve, X, which is the line x equals pi. But for the lower boundary, it's changing, right? In the first part, it's sine x. In the second part, is x is equal to pi over 2. And in the third part, is y is equal to x. So this is not too easy because we would have to break it down into three separate integrals. Um, that would be a lot of work. However, if I did, um, let me just erase this. Oops, That is not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Um, so if I just do vertical rectangles, right? Um, and I draw them like so, we can see that no matter where I draw them, I'm always going to have the same upper function, which is y is equal to x, and the same lower function, y is equal to sine of x. So this means that I can express things as a single integral. So this is the way for us to go. Um, so now let's set up our integral, right? So we do have the integral from the lower boundary is just pi over 2, and the upper boundary is just pi. And we'll do. We'll set our rectangles. Um, the height is the function x minus the lower part of the height is sine of x. And don't forget that for us to have an area, we do need to have a width, right? So let me just actually just draw our rectangle here. The only way that we would have a height here is if we multiply. If we, that we would have an area, sorry, is if we would multiply the height, which is x minus si sine x, times a width. And our width, in this case, it's just dx, right? A little 
piece of the x-axis. So very important to not forget that. Um, so now all we have to do is integrate it. It's pretty simple. This is just x squared over 2. And then the, um, the integral of sine x is minus cosine. So we have minus minus cosine, which will just give us positive cosine of x, evaluated from pi over 2 to pi. So when we plug in our bounds, this will give us um, pi squared over 2 plus cosine of pi, which is negative 1, right? And then minus, minus pi over 2 squared over 2, and then minus cosine of pi over 2, which is just 0. So when we clean this up a little bit, we do have, um, this is pi squared over 2 minus 1, and this is pi squared over 2 squared over 2. So minus pi squared uh, over 8. So to express this in a neater way, this will give us 3 pi squared over 8, and then minus 1. So this is the area that is enclosed uh, in between these four curves.